I think that's probably everybody's favorite I Love Lucy scene. Hilarious. Yes. Logan and I are going to try and recreate it. He's the one who's going to go down <laughs> uh -oh. face first in the grapes. No, okay, there's no crying in. really have to hold on. Yeah, so right? It, it could be a little slippery. All right, so there's no crying in the vineyard, <laughs> but you can wine. wine. The Grape Day Festival is back in Escondido this Saturday. So with me now, a plethora of people that I'm going to introduce, but I just want to say I'm going to kick off my heels very gracefully, and I'm just going to do all the interviews from this... <laughs> no, 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 I got it, buddy. You don't have to hold on to me. I'm a woman of many talents. Let's just tighten the microphone because I feel like our boss, Steve Cohen, will not appreciate if that microphone goes into the bucket. Okay, who do we have from Bernardo Winery? Samantha Navrocki. That's me. Did I say your name right? <laughs> yes, it is. You okay, it right. from the History Center, Rich Thorpe. Hello. I feel like this is a game show. <laughs> Everybody should go in the bucket with me. And then from oh, Brothers yeah. from Brothers of Six Charities, Bill McNaughton. That's me. Yay! <laughs> All right, so we're so excited. We're talking about the Grape Day Festival happening in Escondido this Saturday. Who wants to talk about the history? Because there's so much history of this event. That oh, this that, that goes back to 1908. They first mm -hmm. celebrated paying off their reservoir, and then they decided, let's do this every year. And then they called it Grape Day because Escondido was famous for muscat grapes, the sweetest grapes in the world. Wait, are these it, muscat grapes? No, nope, Those are not muscat. No, those I, are stomping grapes. So I probably shouldn't, like, <laughs> lean down and try one. Rich, what's, oh, the, yeah. what, what's the proper stomping uh, yeah, etiquette? Come on in. Oh, boy. Okay. Right there. So just, just dive yeah. right in. Yeah, yeah. You want to show his feet. So that, that, that is very squishy, isn't How's it? How's that feel? How's that feel? Right? It will be interesting. That, that, that fit right? It's good I, yeah, yeah, I enjoy that. I was told to hang on to you because you can you can really slide around. Any injuries over there? We don't want to get that shirt muddy. You gotta That's recreate the actual I Love Lucy That's version. This is where things get a I'm little. On the rich. No, I'm not hanging on to anybody. I got this. I'm a single, independent woman. You guys, you guys are doing great. Um, but people actually get to do this well, when they come right. out to the event, right? Absolutely. You bet. That's right. So they're going to, uh, they're gonna, we're gonna. This is a free event, and they can come and stop grape for free. These grapes came from Bernardo Winery, and they're Zinfandel grapes. Now you're not using these grapes for wine, are you? Oh no, not, not after you've been in there. Definitely not. How funny! But uh, yeah, this is part of the event, the free grape stomp. But do it's you, in a much bigger, a much bigger. Do you know uh, how the history started of stomping grapes like this? Is that oh. just kind of what they had? <laughs> That's what well, they had. Just what everybody they had just get in there, huh? Yeah. Feet first. Feet first. <laughs> <laughs> we're making some good progress yeah. here. Some people do it now, actually. They think it's hey, better on grapes. Hey, we're going to have free grapes. For eating. Yes. Oh, yeah? Good yes. grapes. Actual okay. grapes you can eat, so. Courtesy of uh, Jimbo's Market. Wow. How yes. 30 fun. cases of grapes they're supplying us with. Yeah. That's amazing. So, yeah. what grapes? Yeah. Right. We want to distinguish the separate buckets eating and then stomping grapes. Yes. Um, I mean, you're here from the historical center. I mean, what can you tell what, us more about that? Here the from the uh, Brothers of Six uh, yeah. charity. So, the charity, uh, yeah. so, so actually, what we do is we, uh, we're a uh, fraternal nonprofit. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, dedicates their time uh, in uh, preserving history of uh, North San Diego County and contributing to the community. So uh, we're, we're co-chairing and uh, co-organizing this event with the Escondido History Center. So uh, it's uh, going to be open this Saturday from uh, 10, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, we're going to have uh, a lot of uh, entertainment, <laughs> stage entertainment. Oh, I can keep going. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, uh, a lot of fun games for the kids. A lot of... Great fun for you, uh, and, and a much bigger, uh, uh, a much bigger tin. Tin for well, you. Well, then I would be remiss if we didn't yes. address all this wonderful thing, yes. the stuff that you guys brought in. So what a lot of history. So as uh, Rich said, this uh, started in 1908, and there's, some, uh, old pictures, there's some some old pictures from the old grape days. Uh, there's actually uh, a, a 1912 uh, banner down there from uh, September they used to 9th. They give out trophies. <laughs> yep. And we always had buttons. We don't have them this there year. There was a Grape Day but Queen. Where is she? Where is she? She's not on here. But, do you guys um, still do the Grape Day Queen? Uh, we're not doing it this year. I mean, we kind of have Maybe to have a king year. and queen. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's... Maybe Logan can be the Grape Day <laughs> right? King. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we'll make you queen. But, but, right. <laughs> and why not? Wouldn't that be so, fun? Yeah, we're, re we're re reviving it this year. So this is, you know, yeah. it's been down for five years. Um, we're really, uh, this is the revival year. So uh, we're starting out uh, 2022, and we're going to, we're going to, 
uh, have it annually from here. Well, so how many people are you expecting? Somewhere between three, three and five thousand people <laughs> yeah. throughout the day. So yeah, I've had people been, come from all over they for come this. From well, they, all over. Yeah. And they used yep. to come all over for this on by train back in the day. No and, kidding. Well, you know, they would just they heard about all the sweet grapes. They were like, they just get on a train. I mean, that's what they used to do. You know. Well, they they, they would uh, get as many as twenty thousand. Yeah. yeah. So the, they would have twenty thousand people yeah. back in the nineteen. They come from LA, yeah. up from San Diego on right. the train. Right. This was, was a actually, real destination. This was actually second to the Tournament of Roses as far as wow. participation from ba back right. in the day. Huh. So up in Pasadena. That's so. incredible. Yeah. I wanted to mention, in addition to all of these fun activities that are for free, we're going to have a wine and beer tasting area. Oh, you! So yes. That's the headline. That baby. is going to be great. So there's going to be local wineries, local breweries. That's an additional charge. Um, yeah. You know, it's going to be a nominal fee, but um, for right. 21 and up only. But then yeah. you can taste all the local good wine. What are some of the favorite things you enjoy about this every year? Um, you know, I haven't been since I was a kid, but I remember as a kid working for our winery, helping at, with the grape stomp. Right. So, I thought that yeah. was a great childhood yeah. memory. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's been around forever, and I, this is this is such a highlight of it. People love well, it. Well, I think, you know, I did find the one grape that is good for the eating grapes for Logan. Right <laughs> 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 Do you want to uh, have it? Good for now. No? <laughs> Maybe later. Are you sure? Because I've got, like, a good Open up. She can probably make it. Yeah. <laughs> this is, but honestly, I feel, I, now that the sun has gone down, it feels cooler. But this also is helping me feel nice and cool in here. All right, where, it, it where, might help that day. Uh, where can people go for more information? <laughs> they can go to great, uh, grapedayfest.com. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, so they can go there for information. They can go to the uh, Escondido History Center Facebook page. And mm -hmm. yeah, mostly the great day at fest.com. That's a great, pl great place to see it. And Either then, .com um, yeah. or .org, both are up yeah. and working. And then exactly. are you going to hose Logan and I down? <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. We got a bucket. <laughs> it's actually, all right. I, 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 I thought my feet would be all stained. Isn't but, that but crazy? It's, it's no. not so bad. And grape seeds are really good she's for a your skin, so there you go. Oh, all right. Can I get your oh, wife? I feel like she's going Sam's down. Sam's going to hire you at the uh, right? Okay, well, I think we got to go. Is that the end of the show? Thanks for coming out. The Great Festival, September 6th. That's going to be Saturday. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thank Good evening, you. San Diego. <laughs> Hope you have a great night. We'll see you at 10.